When you're a fighter, there are many badges of honor that you can proudly display. Crooked nose, BJJ black belt, and then there's cauliflower ears. Ugh, that looks like it hurts. Let's ask UFC bantamweight Mitch Canyon. You know when you get them, yeah, but then you know when they heal up, and uh, you know this is healed. This is hard. I, I don't even know. I don't even know they're there until somebody tells me that uh, they're there. But uh, no, it doesn't hurt anymore. So how does one develop cauliflower ear? Cauliflower ear is very, very simple. And, you know, you get a good punch, or you, you know, you get uh, your head smacked on the on the mats, and and your ear basically blood coagulates in between your your cartilage and your and your skin and you could try to drain it out but there's always some of it that's going to stay there and it's an accumulation you're going to hit it again eventually a little bit more and then it's going to coagulate and then the the cartilage is going to start deforming as well and it's just an accumulation of things this doesn't happen overnight it's an accumulation of training where eventually it just keeps growing growing and hopefully it cures like mine and stays like that so Mitch have you ever seen one of these suckers pop I saw a few fights on, on you know on, on some shows and it's pretty it's pretty gruesome. That's disgusting! If you've got cauliflower ear, that proves you're one tough mother! Just like Mitch's next opponent, him and Barrow! Who do you think has the worst cauliflower ear? <laughs>